For today's Make It Yourself Monday, here is what you need. We're gonna start, we need some aluminum foil. So this is six inches wide by 18 inches long. I've got two pieces of that. You'll need some type of paper. I've got cardstock here, but you can use construction paper, line paper, copy paper, any type of paper will work. You'll need a pencil or a pen, and then a paper towel tube, or if you've got toilet paper tubes, something a little bit smaller, that will work as well. This is gonna be the body of our ring stick. You'll need a pair of scissors, and then some tape or glue, and finally, something like rice, dried beans, dried lentils, even craft beads will work for our materials today. All right, so our first step here, we're gonna take our cardboard tube and put it on our paper and just trace around the edges. And we're gonna do that two times. Make sure you space them out. Trace it twice all the way around. So it looks like that. The next thing you're gonna do is trace a wider circle around your small circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. They should kind of look like Cheerios or donuts. All right, and they don't have to be the same size, that's all right. Next, what you're gonna do is just make little rays of sunshine off of your inner circle and connect them to your outer circle, just all the way around. All right, next thing we're gonna do is take your scissors and cut around the edges of both of your outer circles. All right, so now you should have your two circles and just take one of them for now. We'll do the other one here in a minute. And let's cut down the lines all the way to that inner circle, but don't cut into the inner circle. Just cut down the line towards it, right up to the edge. We're kind of gonna make it look like a sun almost. All right, and a couple last cuts. And now, all of these edges should be loose so that we can put it on the end of our paper towel tube. You'll kind of want to cup it over the end like that. Help it form the shape. It should fit pretty snugly. Then you're going to take a piece of tape or use your glue. I like to use tape because it's a little bit quicker. And we are just gonna tape this down onto the paper towel tube. Really however you wanna do it will work. I'm just gonna put it long ways around my paper. And make sure you get it on there nice and tight because we are gonna put um, your rice or beans or craft beads inside, so you don't want them to get loose. So a little extra tape is never a bad thing in my mind. All right, so now you have your paper end on one of your ends of your paper towel tube, and we're gonna leave this end open so we can put things inside. And we'll put this little piece of paper aside for later. We're gonna do the exact same thing later on the other end. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is turn both of our aluminum foil pieces into this type of spring shape. So I'll show you how to make that. These are gonna go inside of our paper towel tube here in a minute, and that's what's gonna make the rice or beans or whatever you're putting inside make a nice rain noise as it drips down the tube. So to make that spring shape, what I did, is I kind of pinched together the aluminum foil, just all the way down, be careful, it can be a little sharp. All right, so we've kind of pinched it all together and now I'm just gonna turn it into a spring shape kind of by wrapping it around my fingers and just working with it until I feel like it's about the right shape. All right, so now I've got two spring shaped pieces of aluminum foil and they are ready to go inside of our rain stick. So I am just going to drop them down inside and you might need to work with them a little bit if they don't seem like they're fitting well. I'm going to take the end of my pencil here 
and help push it down all the way to the bottom of the tube. Nice. And let's put in our second one. We've got both of our aluminum strings inside our paper towel tube. All right, so now we're ready to put your dried beans, your rice, that's what I've got here, your craft beads, whatever you've got into your paper towel tube. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in this little Pyrex so that I can pour it down a little bit easier. You could use a funnel. You could make a funnel out of your extra paper that you didn't use. Oh, I lost a couple. <laughs> All right, but now that rice is in there. Ooh, it sounded pretty good already. All right, last step, we are gonna put the last end of our paper on the edge of the paper towel roll. So I've got it standing up there. Be careful with it. It's got all of your rice inside, so be careful not to spill it. We don't want any raindrops on the floor today. And again, we're just gonna take this, put it over the top of our paper towel tube, and kind of form it around there for a minute. Make sure it fits nice and tight. And then we're gonna take either your tape or your glue and make sure that cap is on there nice and tight. All right, so now you should have your fully made rain stick. Let's hear how it sounds. All right, listen to that rain. That sounds awesome. The next part is up to you. So you can decorate it however you want. You can use stickers, crayons, markers, anything to make it your own. I'd love to see how you make your rain stick unique. So comment a picture below on our video. Now that you've made your rain stick, check out our video called Thunderstorm Song to play along. 